We want to animate this character, so we need to add what's called a peg. So what pegs are, they just allow you to move the drawing without actually changing what you drew. So a very useful setting that you can do is go to Edit, Preferences, Advanced, and uncheck Element Node, Animate Using Animation Tools Default Value. So that basically means you will never animate on your drawing layer again. Adding pegs is pretty easy. You just click the drawing layer, control P, and a peg will pop up above it. Do the same thing on face, control P. And now we can move each element separately. So a few things though, I want to be able to move my face and my hat at the same time together because they're basically connected, right? So what I can do is, Control P again, create a new peg, and then drag the bottom into each one. So now this top peg moves everything together. So I kind of have a small hierarchy. So the next thing we want to look at is this pivot point. So this blue dot, each peg has its own separate pivot point. So if I rotate, it rotates from that point. If I squash it, it squashes from that point. All the animation I do, it's going to stem from this pivot point. In two movement, you can temporarily move this and permanently move it. So temporarily moving the pivot point is easy as dragging it and moving it around. But when you click back on, the pivot point will be back to its original position. To permanently move this, we need our Windows, Toolbars, Advanced Animation Toolbar, which is this these blue tools up here. You can choose either one of these. I'll choose the rotate one. And now when I drag and move this point, it stays where I want it to stay. Okay, so I'm going to rearrange my pivot points now. So for my hat layer, select. I'll just move it a little bit below my peg layer that controls both. I'm also going to move it somewhere below as well. If you want to see exactly where the pivot point is, double click this yellow square and right at the bottom is the position of your pivot point. So our character is almost done right now. If we choose our transformation, we can click, squash him down. We can choose the face, squash the face down separately from the body. He's almost ready to animate. We just need to do a few more tweaks. 